Hey guys, and welcome to a new Let's Play. Uh, this one has been a long time coming. Now, um, back along when we played this, which uh, was a good few years ago now, uh, I did say that we were going to take a look at some of the harder difficulties and uh, different modes on this game. Um, recently, it's been brought to my attention in the Discord that... <laughs> <laughs> I said that I would do that, uh, and I did mean to do that, but uh, apparently that was seven years ago. Can you believe that? It doesn't even feel like I've been doing this for seven years. Well, apparently it's been closer to ten now, but um, or just over. But apparently I said that seven bloody years ago. Uh, so I said in the Discord to Jimmy, um, as soon as we're finished with all current projects, we are going to go back to Resident Evil and we're going to make good on that promise that I thought, yeah, maybe a couple of years ago, blah, blah, blah. But he screen capped the video and timestamped the section that I said it in um, seven years ago. I didn't even think this game came out seven years ago. Uh, I, of course, mean the remake. Um, but there you have it, 2014, which actually this year is seven years ago. Unbelievable. Guys, where does the time go? Like, I, that actually really validated my mortality when he said that. It's like, holy shit, man. I was in my 20s when I said that. I'm 35 this year. Uh, okay, so with all that bollocks out of the way, um, I did fire this up. This is the Steam version. Uh, the PC version of this game, yeah, I think, is the d definitive version of this game because PC... Uh, this game also at the timing of this recording, if you have Xbox and you have Xbox Live Gold, this is free for <laughs> free on Xbox Live Gold, uh, which why the hell not? I grabbed it just because. So I fired this up and I was like, wait a minute, how do you access the extra modes, man? Like, where are they? And I forgot, of course, that you have to load your game. Which is a bit annoying. I don't know why the game actually loads to start off with. So, unfortunately, I only have once again mode and real survival mode available. There is uh, one bad zombie mode or something where you get chased around by Forrest who has all the explosive straps to him. And he's pretty, he's pretty spry from what I can uh, uh, remember. He's, you know, he's had a can of monster and uh, he can get around a bit. I don't have that mode. Uh, I will look up how you unlock that mode. There is also the invisible enemy mode, which I was pretty sure we unlocked all of these. But I know I've got them all unlocked on my GameCube. But I don't want to dig that out. Um, and by dig it out, I mean take it off the shelf and connect it. Uh, so we're just going to go with this. We do have real survival mode unlocked, which real survival mode was how Resident Evil um, was actually meant to be. Uh, the main change is item boxes aren't connected. So if you leave something in one item box, it's only in that item box, you know. So if you leave, I don't know, your shotgun shells in the mansion and you're in the lab, you kind of gonna have a bad time. So you have to go all the way back and grab those, uh, which is quite interesting. Uh, there's also no auto aim, which is fine. There is no, oh, the game is automatically defaulted to the hardest difficulty as well. And uh, yeah. So, this one's going to be interesting. I always wanted to play this. Let's hit it up. Let's go real survival mode. Because we have the item box issue, we are going to... Oh, man. Cool. Chris in his BSAA outfit. Oh, I like. But because we're going to be playing with very limited uh, item boxes, we are going to be playing as our girl, Jill. When we do Invisible Enemy... Or one of the harder modes that involves... Well, I don't know about the forest mode. But Invisible Enemy, we will definitely be playing as Chris. 
because we need all the health we can get. Now, I wasn't sure what outfit I was going to roll with Jill. Let's be honest, it wasn't going to be that, and it wasn't going to be that. It was either going to be that one, because I actually really like this outfit. I think it's really cool. But I think we did that last time. So we're going to go and rock her uh, Resident Evil 3 outfit. You know, her actual Resident Evil 3 outfit. Not the outfit that they actually gave us in the Resident Evil 3 remake, which was not this. For some reason, uh, now I actually paid extra. I think I can't, or maybe I pre-ordered the game. I'm gonna. I, um, it was a bonus, or something extra that I paid for to get her original outfit, because I thought that'd be really cool. And then I thought after I'd done it, wait a minute, why isn't that outfit included? This is a remake of Resident Evil Three. Why have they changed her out anyway? Resident Evil Three remake. Ugh. You know, it's a good time. A bad Resident Evil game is still a good time, but it, yeah, it wasn't really what we wanted. Um, yeah, let's just say that. <laughs> it, it was a good shooty bang bang time, but it, mm, yeah. Resident Evil 3 OG is still excellent. But anyway, they changed her outfit, even though it was, you know, pre order or, or, or buy this extra edition to get her original outfit. It was not. They gave her shorts, which is fine if it said that it's not the OG outfit. It's just like, you know, a reimagining of the outfit or a different take on the outfit. That's fine. You know, I still would have paid extra to have some, like an extra outfit. So I like the outfits. But the fact that they said it was the original outfit I was like, motherfuckers at Capcom, have you actually forgotten what the original... Anyway, that's a whole different tangent. That really pissed me off, that did. Um, yes, because she does not wear shorts in Resident Evil 3. Now, don't get me wrong. Her, this outfit is stupid. It's hilariously terrible for what she's doing bearing in mind she's gearing up to escape the city against flesh-eating zombies and her thought process was let's wear as little as possible which yeah great fan service but that would have made a lot more sense that would have made more sense eh well, at least she's wearing trousers there. That would have made sense. But yeah, th this outfit is just stupid. This would have made sense as an actual unlockable outfit, not the main thing. Um, because Jill is actually fairly smart and she's one of the best uh, agents in the Resident Evil universe because she has the experience. But yeah, uh, hey man, Japan's going to Japan, I guess. Right, anyway, enough of that. Let's actually get into the game. Wow, we're eight minutes in. We haven't we haven't started playing yet. Do we want to watch all of these again? Sure. Bizarre murder cases have recently occurred in Raccoon City. There are outlandish reports of families being attacked by a group of about ten people. Victims were apparently eaten. The Bravo team was sent in to investigate, but we lost contact. Look, Chris! Bravo team's helicopter was a derelict. Save for the remaining body of Kevin. We continued our search for the other members, and it turned into a nightmare.
Enter the survival horror. Oh, I love the intro. There are only <gasps> three stars members left now. It Captain Wesker, so... Barry, okay. and myself. Oh, we look at that. Where Chris is. <laughs> oh, look at that. What is this place? Not quite your ordinary house, that's for sure. Hey, Wesker, where's Chris? Jill, no. You don't want to go back out there. But we've got to find... What was that? Chris? No. <laughs> Jill? No. I'm going, <laughs> I'm going with her. Chris and I go back a long way. All right. You two go. I'll secure this area. Stay well, all righty then. God, I've forgotten how good this game looks. Oh, man. Oh man, I, I'm excited. I don't know how much of this game that I can remember. But we're going to find out. There's... <laughs> it is Baza. It absolutely is a dining room. Right, okay. My god, here we go. Can we even pick stuff up yet? Will you take the ink ribbons? Yes, I will. The only movement is the silent flicker of the candle's flame. Excellent. Right, let's go, Jill. Ooh, I wonder if that's an important thing later on. Right, how do we aim? Okay, okay, right. You never know how you can aim in these games because, like, every version is different from the PlayStation and blah, 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 blah. Okay, we're good. And obviously, it's different control I think schemes. Take a look at this. I'm using this? the new control scheme. Blood. Does it taste good, Baza? Jill, let's see if you can find any other clues. I'll be examining this. Yeah, you examine that. It's not Chris's. Yeah, pretty sure Chris is all right. Maybe. You know, I've said this before, but Barry looks so much like my late uncle it's in in this game it's unfricking believable i'm not even just saying that uh, my uncle pete he looks so much like him it's i've said it to just about everybody i've ever known it's fucking weird every time i see Baza in this game my uncle i love my uncle to death but yeah it, uh, man it, yeah it's i don't know how to explain it it's so odd Ah, rest his bones. Anyway, let's go. Oh, look how good this game looks. Oh, there's a few purists that I know that are like, oh, they, they haven't bought the HD remake. Oh, I've got it on the GameCube. Yeah, forget the GameCube, right? Get the remaster. All right, mate. He's just tucking into his, uh, his ready meal there. Or was it fast food? Oh, there he is. That scene is so cool. Right, hey, Baza, got a live one for you. Or maybe a dead one. Hard to say, really. Something in between. Barry! What is it? Look out! It's a monster! <laughs> oh, they Let look so good. Go on, Baza. You have the equipment. I have this. hell is this thing? I found Kenneth killed by this thing. Let's report this to Wesker. Yeah, we'll go see Wesky in a minute. Uh, do you want to put another couple of rounds into that thing? Right, so we can't do that yet. Now, um, unlike the original game, I don't think that zombie's dead. Yep. He gets up and fucks off into the other corridor. Cheers, Bazza. Headshots next time, yeah? My god, Barry, what are we going to do with you? 
<sighs> Wesker! All that music. Yeah, help me look for him. Let's not leave this hall. Good idea. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm sure he's hiding behind the pot. That's all right. We'll go have a look. Is there any um, ink ribbons here? A heavy looking picture. Yeah, no, I guess not. Right, let's have a little run round now. Of course, this is all new. Very nice. See anything, Bazza? Anything at all? Oi. No? You're not satisfied? Alright, I'll check upstairs too. Don't hurt yourself, Barry. It's alright. I, I got this, alright? I got this. Oh, man. How good does it feel to be back here? Oh, yes. Mm-mm. I can almost smell the candles. Right, are you satisfied now, Baza? I've been all over this place. Alright. Now, there's an achievement uh, that I still haven't got in this game, and that's for visiting every area. Barry. I'm not sure how I haven't no, done that. Nothing. What's going on around here? I can't figure it out. <laughs> Same here. Chris, and now Wesker. There's not much we can do. We can search for him separately. I'll investigate the dining room again. Okay, then. I'll try the door on the other side. <sighs> this mansion is gigantic. We could easily get lost. Let's start from the first floor. Okay. Oh, I almost forgot. It's a lockpick. You'd make better use of it. Oh, come on. He doesn't even say with the master of unlocking. I may need it. Listen, if something happens, let's meet up in this hall. Got it? Okay. All right. Right. Well, well, well. Where do we go first? Um, I guess. Let's just go through here. Let's go see if our friend Zombie is still around. Now, uh, we are not going to be blasting zombies left and right. Because, oh yes, the save room there. Um, mainly, a large filth encrusted jar. Damn it. What the hell happened in this place? Uh, I can't remember if we need this yet. Will you take the emblem? I mean, I guess. Sure. Why not? Right, let me... Right, so why is going to your menu? Examine. There's nothing unusual. There's nothing unusual. Oh, but there is something very unusual. Yeah, it's been so long since I've played this. I can't really remember... Uh, like that. I mean, what was it? Seven years ago I played this? Right, let's see our zombie friend. Oh, has he moved up here now? Yeah, there he is. You're right there, buddy. Let's go see if our friend Kenneth has got some ammo on him. Yeah, we don't want to kill enemies. Um, oh, yeah, he's got the video. Does he have... Oh, he doesn't have any bullets. Ooh. You little sausage, you. No bullets. That's no good. Whoa. Come on, buddy. Got a nice bite of this, don't you? Yes, of course you do, you thirsty motherfucker. Come on. Come on. Now, let's see how good my dodging skills are. Uh, spoiler, probably not that great. Okay, well, we got past him, so, hey, I guess it's fine. Uh, let's go to the piano room. Let's go see, like, what we can do in here. It's locked. Of course it is. Right. That's also locked. Okay. I've kind of fucked us over already. But we've got the videotape, so that's a thing that we now have. Uh, probably not going to read out the, um... Uh, diaries and things either because we've all seen them 750,000 times so uh, right okay now let's hmm Wait a minute. I, yeah, see, I'm thinking of the original game. We don't need to go that way yet. We need to collect an arrow. I wonder if I can put this emblem back. 
there's a door yes yes by there's that whole trapped place isn't there that you get stabbed if you don't find that small key Ooh, hang on images and the headaches are are erupting in my brain as we speak now uh yeah this ain't gonna be a speed run just just letting you know this one here where does this lead doesn't this lead down like a darky flashy kind of hallway yes ah oh what we got here oh my god look at it look at it any bullets here no i mean there's a herb large bird case there's a dead raven inside well that ain't no good you're right there friend you got anything for me uh, instant death. What the hell happened in this mansion? Well, I don't know, but look at this as well. Oof. Oof. Okay. Well, I guess we're going to grab this. Yeah, so, um, we need to be a little bit careful about killing zombies because they added the crimson heads in this game. Uh, crimson heads are what happens to zombies that have been down and they kind of regenerate and mutate into these red monstrous why am i even, there's a crimson head right in front of us i don't know why i'm telling you guys everybody knows this there he is um ooh. you right, pat oh there you are ooh. oh oh god almost fucked over by the there it is almost fucked over by the new camera angle all right i'll have it i'll have them oh bullets Give me the bullets. Now, I don't know, and I can't remember how scarce... Oh, you little sausage. You little dickhead. I can't remember how scarce ammo is in this game. Lock from the other side. You unlocked it. That's good. Uh, considering we're on hard... Eh, I mean, ammo, I wouldn't say ammo is going to be rare. But... It ain't going to be everywhere either, so... Wow, we're on caution. Whoa, okay. They don't fuck around, do they? Oh, you all right there, buddy? Yeah, we're not going to be blasting them because we don't want loads of crimson heads everywhere. We can deal with the crimson heads. Kind of. But it's a pain in the arse so oh god yeah i don't know I'm, I'm not feeling this new this new camera angle guys this new control scheme now do we have two zeds in here right i see what's going on so the d-pad is the old og control scheme and the analog stick is the new control scheme but trouble is whenever the camera angle changes the controls instantly change which is not as helpful as you'd think there we go we'll be back for that later now we can't use the auto targeting here to find out where the little sausage muncher is there he is All right buddy that's fine, mate. You have a little wonder. We're just exploring, getting ourselves reacquainted with this wonderful place. Now. Now. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Do we? Now have to go outside. All right, there's the arrowhead. Yeah, that's what we want. I guess, so we're not going that way yet. I guess we can't go this way yet either. This leads outside. Yeah, that's... Because there's a dog out there that we have to kill. With a key, if memory serves. Emblem of armor. Right. Let's go this way. We can't go down there either. So our only option is through here. So, that is where we're going to go. And we're going to be saving these bullets. And we have a Zed out here as well, which is... Well, I mean, he shouldn't be too hard to avoid around here. Come on, you. Come on, zombie boy. There you go. Stupid bastard. Now, ooh. 
Oh, a big man zombie out there. Oh, hello. Right. There is indeed an emblem out here of one of these. Now, we're going to be saving it as much as we human, human, humanly can. Uh, because I don't want to be repeating tons and tons of progress all the time. This game is fairly difficult. Right, okay. Now, is there anything here? There is. Uh, it's a book. Will you take the book of the curses? Yes, we will. Sure, why not? What do we have here? Aha! There is a key embedded in the back cover. Yes, we shall have that key. It is a mansion key. Book of curses. Right, I'm going to go through this slowly. Ah, fuck it. We're going to read it, aren't we? Um, the four masks. A mask that speaks no evil. A mask that smells no evil. A mask that sees no evil. A mask that cannot speak, smell, or see evil. When all four fall into place, evil will awaken. Mm-hmm. I hope there's no horrible monster in that big coffin above us. Nah. That's just silly. Why would that be? Oh, hey. How do I avoid you guys now? Or am I just going to get... Yes, I'm just going to get bitten. Okay. That's good. Thanks for that. Uh, yep, there's still some shotgun shells here. And we're on danger. Hey, guys, we're going to die. Yeah, we're going to die. But we got some shotgun shells, so I mean that's something, I guess. How are we on danger? Maybe we should have played as Chris, because Chris has about 30% more health. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Now, hmm. Now I can go and save it in this room. The question really is, do I want to go and save it? Or do I just want to start again? Nah. We're on the course now, boys. Let's see. Uh... <laughs> Let's just keep going. There we go. Right. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed that. Um... <laughs> this might actually be difficult. Resident Evil generally isn't that hard, but yeah. Ouch. Anyway, guys, till next time.